there's been a sea change in the treatment of patients who are older or who are biologically older and who are more unfit, who have a new diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia compared to, say, three or four years ago. And that um, big change occurred with the publication of a paper that showed the benefit of combining two drugs, venetoclax and azacitidine, for this patient population with now a median survival of 14.7 months. And this is significantly better than the standard of care in many countries, uh, which was azacitidine alone. And this had benefits in multiple different segments of the ANR population, though there were differences between different genetic subgroups. But I think uh, in 2021, my sense is that this treatment will be licensed by both the MHRA and EMA in Europe. It's already licensed in the United States. And then there will be a discussion with NICE to see whether this will be funded by the NHS. This also establishes a platform for now improving treatment even further for those, especially those subgroups that did not do so well with venetoclaxase society. So I think this is a real step forward, and I think there'll be a lot of activity in the next um, year to five years to improve on what we already have.